Welcome back to another swap and sort video. Um, in this video, we're going to create our own sorting algorithm. We will create, basically, instead of using the sort function, instead of using the sort method, we will sort it using a few basic, a few basic things. Well, let's go to sketch.io. We go to sketch.io. Let's take all this up. You can see that our swap method right here is def swap and uh, x, y, and we use this. We're going to be using our swap method. What we'll do is, well, let's say our numbers are 17. Forty four. Twelve. And ninety nine. Okay, so what it'll do is I'll compare 17 to 44. Okay, first I'll compare 17 to 44. 44 is greater, so I'll swap these two. So we've got 44, 17, 12, and 99. Remember, we're going from greatest to least. Then, since we already compared it to the second number we're going to compare it to the third number. 44 or 12. 44 is greater than 12, so nothing really happens. Then we compare it to 99. These will flip. So it'll become 99, 44, 17, 12. It's already in order, but the computer must won't actually know it's in order. It pushes the top to the front, then it'll compare this, this, and it'll make sure it's in order. Let's take another example so you can kind of see how it works. Let's take another example. Let's take numbers on, oh, let's go 60, 60, 62, 15, Seventeen and eighty-eight. Okay, so we compare sixty-two to fifteen. Sixty-two is greater, so we don't do anything. Sixty-two is also greater than seventeen, so we don't do anything. Then we do sixty-two is greater than eighty-eight. Okay, sixty-two is greater than eighty-eight, and sixty-two is less than eighty-eight. So we flip eighty-eight and six. We flip eighty-eight and sixty-two. We swap them. So it's 88, 15, 17, 62. We've pushed the biggest to the top. So what we do is we don't care about those numbers. We've pushed it to the top. So now we compare 15 to 17. 17 is greater than 15, so we flip that. So we have 17, 15, and then 62. We compare 17, since we already compared this, we already compared the third number, we have to compare the last number. 17 is less than 62, so it's 60, so we swap them. 62, 15, and 17. We push this to the top, so now we only care about 15 and 17. 15 is less than 17, so 17, 15. And there you have it. That is the order. We've ordered it. 88, 62, 17, and 15. We want the computer to do that. Now this algorithm, this sorting method, this sorting algorithm, what I like to call, right, this, this sorting algorithm is what I like to call the, uh, the, the swap and sort. But its real sorting name is the bubble sort. I like to call the swap and sort, but its real name the the bubble sort. It's called a bubble sort. We need
need to import. We will need to import random. Now, I'm probably wondering why we need to import random. We need to import random so we can generate random numbers. We're going to create an input. And we'll call this input n. And n equals an integer. Input. And it's going to say how many numbers so this will allow them to pick how many numbers they want the list and x is going to be an empty list then what we're going to do is like a for loop. And we'll say for k in for k in a range n x dot of n random rand range. is doing is for k in range n what this is doing is let's say n is 17 right let's say n is 17 what we'll do is it'll run this loop 17 times and it'll append and every single time it'll append a random number between 1 and 100 okay which means there'll be 17 random numbers in the list let's review what i did I imported random. Then I created my swap function from a previous video. You will probably want to check that out. Uh, and I'm using this, my swap method I'm using is def swap, right, turn x and y. Turn no, swap x comma y, or turn y comma x. Then we have a variable called n, and it's an integer input. This is hunt that will, that basically saying how many numbers that they that the person wants in the list. And let's just make sure this works. We're going to print x. Trash this terminal. I'm using Visual Studio Code, and I'm coding in Python. Okay, so. How many, let's go five numbers in the list. As you can see, it generated five numbers in one one. Generate 30, 31, 99, 34, and 44. Okay. So we have generated our numbers, and what we, but the thing is, they're not in order. We need to swap them. Okay. To swap them, what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop. And this time, it's not in for k, we're going to do for i. For i in range n. Now you can do for i in range n, that will be the length of the list. Or you can do for i in range len of x, which is just as equal. I'm going to do, I will be doing n. Now you can do one of x, I will just be doing n. What this loop will be doing is we're going to create another loop. Sorry. Inside this for loop, we'll create another for loop. For j in range, i, n, plus 1. So what we're doing is, if, let's go back, if we go back to sketch.io, the i will first, x of i will first be 62, then x of j, we want x of j to become 15, then 17, then 88. So instead of, so we're doing i to the n plus 1. 
gives you n plus 1, it will include n. We want it to include n. Okay? But when you think about it, if we include n, we'll be one number over the list because list starts at 0. So we don't want to do n plus 1. We want to do n. Now, you can start off with i plus 1 or you can start off with i. Reason is, if we start off with i, the, we'll be comparing 62 to 62. So we start off with i plus 1, we'll be, we'll be starting off with 15. So what we want to do is we want to do for, for i in range n, they want to do for j in range i plus 1 of n. So every time the i loop runs, the j loop will run. And what we'll just do is we're going to put an if statement. If i, if x of i is less than x of j, you want to swap them. To swap them, we have our swap method right up here, the swap, not a swap function. So we're going to swap, we want to do x of i, comma, x of j equals swap x of i, comma, Then we will print x. Okay, let's run this code and I'm going to explain it one more time. Let's do four numbers in the list. You can see they are in order. But just to make sure they weren't listed in order, before our for loop, before the for loop, we're going to, we're going to print x. Okay, we're going to print x, and we're going to see how the numbers changed. Okay. Originally, it was 36, 26, 64, 86. Now it's 86, 64, 36, 26. So how did we bubble sort? How did we do this? Let's review every single line of code. And then, let's, but before that, let's review our pseudocode. So our pseudocode states that if we have four numbers, um, we first take this number and compare it to this. If this is greater than this, then we do nothing. If this is less than, we swap. And we keep doing this until the first, until the highest number is pushed to the front. Okay, we do this, so then we compare the next these numbers until the second highest, then the third highest, then finally the last number. So to do that, we need a swap method. Before that, we imported random. Then we create a swap method. This is def swap and takes an x and y. And then we returned y and x. That's our swap method. So it takes an x and y and then we return the opposite. So then we create an input that will allow the user to pick how many numbers they want in the list. And it's an integer input, so we get int input. Then we create an empty list called x. And then we then we did 4k in range n, because n is how many numbers they want in the list. We appended a random number tag by doing random dot rand range one between one and this would be between one and one hundred. Then we printed x to see just to see how x is originally. Then we create a for loop, another for loop for i in range n. This will run based off how long the list is. You can also do len of len of x. Inside this, we, we did another loop called j. And j is in range of i plus 1 of n. What this is doing is if when i is a 62, j will be 15, then 17, then 88. And okay, that's what it will be. So i plus 1 out of n will allow j to be 15, 17, 88. And since the loop is running, the i loop is running n times, the j loop, the j loop, this will... We'll go when the, when eighty eight is the front. J will now become J will now become i plus one. I is fifteen, so J is seventeen. Then then I J would become then J would become sixty two, and I would be seventeen. Pretty simple. It's not that complicated. Then what we do is then we do if x of i is less than x of j because x of j is always in front of x of j, we want to swap them because we want we want it from greatest to least. So if x of i is less than x of j, 
we're going to do x of i comma x of j equals swap x of i comma x of j. Then we print it x. That's basically how you do the bubble sort. It's a simple sort. It's not the best type of sort. There's another type of sort called lazy sort that uses threading. It's not the best type of sort, but it's good for a beginner.